Occasionally, we need to go out and change sails at the end of the bowsprit. That's eight feet past the railing, and it can be fairly dangerous. So to increase the safety just a little bit, we widened out these spreaders. We put some diamond tread steps right here on both sides. And we also put some hand grab rails on either side of the bowsprit. For the line, we chose half inch Samson Poly Daycron. We chose this line as it is softer on your feet and more resistant to mold. That's the first row of tucks. Only two more to go. If you rotate the strand just a little bit while tucking, it'll make everything lay so much smoother. Okay, all three tucks are completed. Now we're gonna cut this close. I think this one's done. I only got about 40 to go. Nick will be putting them together. Not too bad, huh? We hope you enjoyed us showing you how bowsprit netting was made. Please hit the like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification buttons. That will give you push notifications whenever a new video is uploaded.